the best crypto bridge hands down is dbridge and they're doing their token launch very very soon and if you use dbridge you also qualify to get some of the dbr tokens so let's find out how much are they worth was it worth actually using dbridge so firstly before we go any further let's have a quick look at this graphics from 6th of august go and like it because it's pretty incredible but the amount of money that flows into solana of course, Ethereum, it's mostly coming from Ethereum as it's the OG chain when it comes to DeFi and such. But the amount of money coming into Solana is absolutely massive. When you look at all the other chains, you can see how fragmented the liquidity actually is. Anyway, this is not a, an EVM versus Sol kind of chat. We're talking about Dbridge. So the Dbridge Foundation, they put out this, introducing the Dbridge Foundation and DBR checker and a whole bunch of things. Of course, the way these go, in case you're new, the US is not a crypto friendly country yet. So when they create a token, a protocol, they essentially create a foundation. And the foundation is a different legal entity. The team is involved, of course. It's normally in the Cayman Islands or something. It's quite an expensive setup. They issue the token from a more crypto-friendly jurisdiction. So this is what the actual official link is. dbridge.foundation, similar to drift.foundation. For anyone that actually went and collected their, their drift tokens. You go and put in your address. You can probably go and actually connect your wallet as well, but as an example. We'll go and put this one in. We check eligibility and you can see first distribution, only one distribution, not a crazy amount of points with this wallet and the amount of DBR that I can actually claim when this goes live, we don't have a date yet, is 217. Currently, the pre-market rate is around 3 cents. Now, we're going to go over a few other things, such as the fact that the actual amount being airdropped and being sold to the public is quite low. And I'm going to go why... I think this is not necessarily a bad thing, even though it's not typically what I would like to see. Next tweet is here. Distribution of season one points as DBR. So they have season one, which ended in July. And now we're on season two. So the 6% Genesis drop has been distributed proportionally amongst all season one points holders in two tiers. The top 10% by balance get 50% of DBR at launch and the rest after six months. This is not a vesting style like Cloud is, where you can claim you know, after five months, you just miss out on a month's worth of tokens. It's literally 50% of DBR at launch and the rest after six months. And all remaining users get 100% of DBR at launch because it's a much smaller amount. Here's an example of a, an address. I don't know whose it is. They've got almost 30,000 points. They have two distributions, same amount, just 50%, 50%. So 50% on token generation event when everything goes live and then another 50% they can claim in six months time. So that's how that looks. Whereas another wallet, remember this is an EVM wallet, you need to check all of your wallets. This is 86.13 DBR. It's only one distribution. They get it all at one particular occasion. You do have to put in your Solana address here though, because this is only an SBL token, at least at present. So just to reiterate, the bigger whales, they're getting 50%. The rest, they're being unlocked at token generation event, and that's all been distributed. On July 23rd, they took a snapshot of 491,416 participants. Absolutely crazy. They didn't, as far as I'm aware, go and label anyone as Sybils or anything. Essentially, every time you use the bridge, you paid fees. So they are effectively users. If we have a look at Wales market, this is the best place to go and sell or buy tokens before they've actually hit the market. You can go and have a look at see what it's actually trading for right now. It's trading for around three cents, but you are seeing bids of around five cents. So this could be one that does reasonably well. This is three cents. This is three cents. Let's have a look at 100% filled. That way we can actually see if anyone was actually paying five cents. That's DBR. And this is something else. This is GM. Four cents. Four cents. So it's around the four to three cent mark. Now this post here from DeFi Marin says what we need to know. So you need to paste your Solana or EVM address, check the airdrop eligibility and airdrop allocation. Remember, you, you go and paste your Solana address and all of your EVMs. Don't just go put in your Solana and forget about the fact that you bridged it somewhere. The total supply of DBR, 10 billion, circulating supply 1.8, so 18% and 6% of the supply is allocated for this airdrop. Now, this is the native governance token of DBridge and the total DBR airdrop allocation, 600 million. So if the token price is three cents, which is right now, and if you're in the kind of rank a thousand, if you spent $950 on fees at this price, you're getting around about this many tokens, 
which is you know a small amount of profit. This is not one of those things which I said in my daily videos that was like a guaranteed profit. It's just the best bridge. You do want to probably play on other blockchains and you probably want to play on other blockchains then come back to Solana if you don't like it. This is the actual bridge that you use. I had a suggestion to try and get to 31,000 points, which means this is going to be your allocation. Of course, if it nips on up to 5 cents, then it's a little bit more and a little bit more, a little bit more. The fees you spent is around about that. Could be a little bit more, a little bit less. One thing is, and you, there's no point in you wasting any energy and putting on a comment below if you're upset with the allocation. You can jump into the Discord if you want. I've already seen people in there. This is an airdrop. There's no brilliant way to do an airdrop. The only way that people will do really well with an airdrop is in the Jito situation or the Bonk situation where they were playing when no one else was playing. They got rewarded and the community looked after them by thinking there's value in that particular project. So I do think DBR is a worthwhile token to like consider depending on the price. I do think that DBridge is the best. I do need more clarification in terms of transparency on how the actual DBridge token will function and the tokenomics. I don't think they're terribly great, but nevertheless, you know, we voted for them in the Jupiter DAO, so they got launched or they will be getting launched. This is the breakdown, ecosystem, community launch, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. One thing, the validators earn a very small amount, which is quite unusual. The other thing is, it's just strange that there's no transparency with what each is being allocated to, given the fact that Meow from Jupiter has been talking about this and talking about this and talking about this. I just think anyone launching now, they may as well be transparent. You can't look after the farmers. You can't look after the, for the people that have a small amount of capital and are wanting to 10x their capital. They, they spend $100 of fees, they want $1,000 back. That's not going to work, of course. But you can make it more transparent in terms of how can we use this token to actually shape the protocol itself. The next link we'll have a look at is their actual dupe research piece. So I covered this in daily news, well, 11, 10 days ago, but let's go over a few major points. One, they've already generated $12 million in protocol like fees and treasury, etc., which is more than they have received from actually VCs funding the project. And, you know, this is strong daily revenue. It is actually the best bridge out there. I haven't found anything better. And I've used a lot of bridges. I've done a lot of tutorials on different bridges, not on this channel, but on other channels. So the LFG vault, this is the stuff that I wanted to go over a little bit more because they're only selling 2%, which I think is incredibly low, almost too low. And I don't necessarily like the fact that they're going with a low amount of tokens. I feel they should be pushing more out, trying to raise some funds and essentially see if the community can take over and actually approve governance. But we'll have to see how it all goes. So the LFG vault will sell 2% at this price. It's going to be not a typical vault setup. It's not like starting at a low price and then going up to a high price. It's just this is what the price is with a cap of 5 million USDC. If we get 2 million USDC, you will not be getting it cheaper than this. That is the price for everybody. We don't know exactly when this is going to happen. We don't have any information on that. But we have 24 hours to deposit USDC into the LFG vault with a maximum deposit cap per address of 25k. This is the price and there's only certain addresses that can actually jump in. So the eligibility to be checked, you've got a few things. One, if you're part of uh, the season one snapshot that did uh, use actually DBridge protocol on at least 10 different days, you can use it with that address if you want to buy some. Or if you're a top dupe staker, so anyone with a net stake of over 690 dupe are eligible to participate, you can go and click here and see if you're eligible to participate. How this LFG vault will work. So it has two distribution phases, similar to how the airdrop is actually going out to the bigger, the bigger, you know, whales that have used it quite a bit. 50% directly at launch when tokens become tradable, which is 48 hours after the vault opens, and 50% six months after the date of launch. So once again, this 50%, it's not a vesting like how it is with other projects. It's literally 50% now, 50% later. So in six months time, that would be certainly the right time to short for sure, because there's a, a lot more people that can start to claim. Maybe like a week beforehand, we'll put into this into the Solana calendar that you can go ahead and, and maybe consider a short position. They may have something up their sleeve, of course, so we don't want to be too aggressive and we may not even do it. Plus, we don't even know where we can do it. The point is, sell pressure in six months. The mechanics. So let's assume all $5 million is deposited. Anything over that will be actually withdrawn and go back to the people that put in. So they're going to grab $3 million of this liquidity paired with 1% of DBR's total supply. One thing to know is they do have revenue. They are actually the best bridge. So even if the tokenomics are not flying off the shelves and people are just like, oh my God, marry me. At least we know that the protocol works, hasn't been exploited as far as I'm aware. 
and it generates revenue every single day. As far as I'm aware, it just works. So 3 million paired with 1%, basically putting the token price at 3 cents. From there, it can go up. There's a few other things that are discussed, such as what happens if the cap isn't reached, but I'm pretty confident the cap will actually be reached. The next thing we need to actually find out is how will governance work? We should find out about that before this launches. Also, maybe if we have a certain amount of DBR staked, we pay less fees. These things could make it far more valuable. Now, personally, I'm probably not going to enter into the LFG vault unless I start to see the real need for the token and why it's going to actually help the community. And if I were to actually enter, it'd be with less than $1,000. Now, this is important. Scams are out there. There are people that pretend to be me. There are people that pretend to be lots of people. But also, they pretend to be projects. Like this one, Dbridge Foundation. This is a very well done domain name, dbridge.foundation. It's obviously a scam. If we click on this, they will try to take your tokens. So be super vigilant. There's no one that's going to double your tokens. So be on the lookout for those sort of things. Here's another one as well. Dbridge Foundation. We invite all of our community to check their future DBR claim eligibility. Basically, just a scammer rubbish. I'm just about to release a video and we have an update from Dbridge Foundation. So for the top 10% Dbridge points holders, the option of course is we could have taken 50% now and then we get the 50% in six months. But now there's an a second option, which is claim 80% at token generation event, and then you forfeit 20%, which will go to those that actually want to wait six months, and then you lose the 20% now, but you can potentially sell all the DBR. So that's just some new news. We need to work out how that's going to factor into the price, but we've got a little bit of time to work that out. Personally, I'll probably go and do this with one of my wallets, because one wallet has 30,000 points, and then a second wallet has around 25,000 and I'll do that one at six months. So that's Dbridge. Make sure you go and check all of your EVM and Solana addresses. And if it didn't work out in terms of the amount of time or fees that you spent, then hopefully it turns around in the future. I think it should be a little bit plus EV for those people that actually use it. But remember, the actual goal, in my opinion, of using crypto is to experience everything in crypto and to find the things we like. A bridge is very necessary for that. And this is the best bridge. Thank you.